Okay, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be quickly removing the tarnish from a bit of silver. It's actually a recent process that I found, and <laughs> it's pretty miraculous. Uh, this is actually a silver copper that was given to my grandmother from her uncle Stuart in 1927, and it is horrible. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do with this is you're going to actually wash it. Nothing abrasive. We don't want it to scrub or anything. Uh, just a sponge and some dish soap, you know, just to get the dirt off. Because this doesn't, this process does not remove dirt. It does remove the um, tarnish, though. It's an electrochemical, chem it's electrochemical process. Okay, first you need some really, really hot water. Oh, well, actually, first you need a nice non-conductive dish, and to that we put the tin foil crumpled up at the bottom. Okay, to there we add a bunch of hot water. Okay, of course, tin foil is floating. Ow. Okay, now to this, we add a bunch of baking soda. Now, it calls for a cup of baking soda per gallon. So, I'm not sure what the exact measurement is, but that's a fair bit. Okay. And we also add a little bit of salt. Okay, now, when we put this in, the baking powder is settling down, it's fizzing a bit. There we go. Now, the videos I've seen, they didn't have anything that was quite as tarnished as this, because this is actually really really old but in the videos which I've seen so far it's been a few minutes okay so we're gonna leave that sit for a couple of minutes and we're gonna see what happens let's just fast forward to that okay now we've left it sit for about two or three minutes here and as you can see it's already significantly lightened uh, if you remember when we first started this out this was pretty much black uh, we've got a lot of silver spots starting to shine through. We can actually read the writing on there again, which is amazing. It's probably been years since I've seen that. This has actually been the back of a cupboard for <laughs> decades. My grandmother got it from her great uncle. No, her great uncle? Or my great great. Anyway, I think maybe just her uncle, or great uncle, I forget, on her christening in 1927. And yeah didn't really get a lot of love. Now, uh, when you have something that's severely tarnished like this, you can actually go in for repeated uh, dunkings. It's not a big deal. You see, it's not actually abrasive. It's not removing anything. What's going on is the, the aluminum foil is reacting with the baking soda and salt and the silver, and it's actually turning the silver sulfide, which is, um, it's basically like silver rust, See, the, the reason that silver tarnishes is because it bonds with sulfur in the atmosphere, sorry, the atmosphere, and it sort of forms this black sort of smuts all over everything, which is called silver sulfide, which is basically just silver rust, you know, basically. And um, what this does, it forms a minor little electric... Call, uh, lie, minor little electric current between the aluminum foil and the silver, which causes all the, sil the sulfur to disengage from the silver molecule and just sort of go floating off into the water. You actually might see some of the uh, the sulfur start to, you know, develop towards the bottom of the bowl. So, like I say, the longer you leave this sit in the nice, the hottest water you can imagine, actually. Uh, the better. I am actually really. This was black. This was like. This is, oh look, there's stuff on the bottom. Anyway, this was completely black when I started out this adventure, and now it's actually starting to turn back into silver. Amazing. Okay, well, there we have it. That's how we polish silver. If I had something that was slightly less poli less tarnished, I could show you quicker. But that's what I have. Okay, have a great day. Thanks. Oh, and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe.